Hey, we're back everyone. Uh, this is Alan once again for part two of our Bob Modern plays through hopefully all of Full Throttle. Uh, I just noticed that um, the I was, we're, we're playing this in ScumVM as we mentioned in part one, but uh, the UI of ScumVM itself, such as uh, right now on the screen for me it says game, pause, press space to continue. That doesn't show up on the stream or on the video, I guess, because I'm not streaming this. Uh, but just pretend it's there. It's not important. It just says it's just a little yellow box. Um, so and other than also the cutscene volume was way too loud, specifically during that fucking amazing uh, guitar riff. But you know, it shouldn't be loud like that for the rest of the game. So I think I'm just gonna leave the volume bouncing like this. Maybe try and fix it in post editing. But uh, it's a good song. You should enjoy it and listen to it and have fun. So let's get right into the game. Uh, we're gonna, we're trapped in this dumpster here, and we're gonna, there we go. So we play Ben. Walk around. So many sound effects. Sort of like semi-3D effects going on here too, which is really interesting. Try and get on our bike. Oh wait. I don't have anything. Okay. There's a way hold on. There we go. So one of the interesting things about the UI of full throttle is that if you hold the left it's a point and click and right click uh, by default uh, I think uses an item on whatever you're looking at, I'm not sure. Uh, but if you hold the left click and then on something that's intractable, like that, the red you get the red uh, square uh, lines around your cursor, it comes up with this really interesting menu. Which is just completely symbol based, but explains exactly what each of your interactions does. So you got pick up, which is the hand, uh, kick, which is the boot. So if you need to kick something, which is surprisingly handy, uh, look at, and I believe lick, <laughs> which is also used for something. Like obviously they're not gonna put a button in there. That's just a joke button, I guess. So it's you know that. Uh, so the bike you can't use. Let's try and. Uh, Look Good thing Rip Burger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. Let's use the bike. Ah, oh, we're leaving. We're not leaving. I ain't got no keys. Some Joker took my keys. Ah, some Joker. I don't like that. Mark Hamill, who played the Joker on Batman the Animated Series. Let's go into the kickstand and see what anybody in there has to say about the events that just. It's ran closed. Ah, oh, it's closed. What do you do when uh, the door is closed? Well, of course, kick the door. There you go. See, the kick button is useful. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Let's rough him up. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <gasps> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Hey, keys. Shiny. That's not the sound keys make. I'm oh, sure. uh... Someone did say something about killing you and making oh. it look like an accident. Why don't you just tell me that now? They didn't do too good of a job the there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. Let's begin our adventure. Yeah, there's not much to interact with here. I mean, there's like plenty to look at and stuff, but uh, we don't need anything here. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of learn a lot about your character, whose name I somehow already forgot. We're probably going to say it in like five minutes though, so let's not worry about that. You learn a lot about your character through the interactions that he makes with the world, which is a really cool the thing about pointing doesn't have any controls. Mm-hmm. I guess we're done here. We got our keys, we can get on our bike. Get on our bikes and ride. 
Oh, we're gonna get to a weird part right now. I just remembered. tricks that they do in this game. Oh, okay, so yeah. This combat in this game is bike to bike combat. Hey, ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look at bike. It looks like something out of Mad Look, Max. I'm I serious. Didn't even that. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Someone's ambushing the polecats? The oh heavens! Whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty! Let's get down! Don't give up now! I get it. Hey. 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 Oh, oh, I lost. See, there's no like rhyme or reason to this fucking mini game. You gotta just keep retrying. It. That's the spirit. Uh, air keys. Don't give up now. Oh, use air keys by your mouse. So you have to stay on the road too. I have to like aim at him with this. No, this is push me. Push in the face. Hey, hey! As long as I don't fall off the road, I'm gonna tell you anything. Like actually, not there you go. And that's the combat. Look at that graphic. Someone designed that pretty graphic with a light bulb down. Yeah. Victory we be. Oh no. No, we have to do it really good. Now it's night time. <gasps> Who could that be? <gasps> Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Cola. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Um. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? Hmm. I'm a mechanic, I'm and apparently a, a pretty good doctor female. as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Ooh, dialogue options. Ooh. Who are you? Maureen, remember? Who? Who? If that's who, too who? hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. I love this music. It's amazing. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo ben, forever, yeah. I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center. But I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. Oh, fancy. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. 
One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. Uh -huh. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. She literally you seem more concerned toasters? with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? What? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can mm. hack it, tough guy. Hold on. Uh, me having a walkthrough, I know where to find all this stuff, but I'm gonna plug her for some more questions. Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Well, she does kind of give you hints early on. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Nice. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? A bad person. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Well. I'll let you get back to work. Yeah, we can keep talking to her if we want. Let me know if you need any answers. Uh, eventually, or you, I think you can ask her about uh, the ambush, and she gets mad and walks away. Kind of cagey. We don't know really what to feel about, uh, how to feel about Maureen just yet. But what we do know is that she is the person that's going to help us fix our bike. Uh, might as well. Oh, I missed a step. Okay. Uh, okay, let's next time on Pop Modern Plays Full Throttle, we're gonna begin searching for bike parts. It'll be great.